Choosing the right safari destination can be a daunting task, with so many wonderful places to choose from in Africa. However, with a little research, planning, and a little luck, you can find the right safari destination for you and your loved ones. It may take a little time and energy, but the effort is worth, especially when you get to arrive at your chosen destinations and experience the animals you intended to see. Part of the fun of a safari is in the planning. So let's take a closer look at some of the pointers for you to consider before planning your first trip to Africa. Step 1. Choose a date for your trip to Africa. Before choosing your destinations in Africa, it is important to consider the best time to visit them. While there are certain times of year that are better than others, there's no guarantee that you'll get a cheaper price or find better weather. Typically, most visitors prefer the busy dry season, which normally runs from July all the way to May next year. The green rainy season on the other hand runs from April all the way to June. The green season receives fewer crowds meaning that traveling at this time can be less costly compared to dry season, and you have the opportunity of experiencing newborn wild animals. Step 2. Choose which animals you want to see. Choosing a safari destination based on the animals you want to see is a great way to narrow down your travel options. Some of the best safari destinations in Africa have a large number of animals, including large mammals such as lions, elephants, giraffes, zebras, and hippos. If there is a specific animal you want to see on your safari, we strongly advise that you include it in your planning process to avoid disappointment. Step 3. Choose which part of Africa you want to explore. If you've ever been on a trip to Africa, you've probably seen photos of the Serengeti or Diani Beach. But if you have never been to Africa, you may not know where to start when it comes to deciding where to go. While Africa is a huge continent, some parts are much better suited for certain activities than others. For example, if you're looking for a wildlife safari, like an extensive game drive, then heading to popular tourist destinations such as the Masai Mara and Serengeti in Africa may be the best option for your safari. Step 4. Choose which safari activities you want to participate in. If you're thinking about taking an African safari vacation, you'll want to make sure you experience all the activities you can while you're there. The first thing you'll want to do is list all the things you want to do while you're on your trip. Some of the most popular safari destinations in Africa are found in either South or East Africa. So think about what you want to do in those regions and narrow your list to just those activities. Step 5. Choose your traveling companions. Well, a safari is more than just seeing wild animals. It's an experience that's designed to give you a deeper connection with the natural world and with other travelers. Once you've made the decision to go on your safari adventure, you'll want to choose your travel companions carefully because the safari experience means so much to everyone. After all, you're going to be spending a lot of time together. No matter whom you're traveling with, best friends or distant relations, it's going to be an amazing adventure and one that will leave you feeling more like yourselves and your world than ever before. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.